Hey guys, this is Terence. Welcome to an architect's processing notebook. And this is gonna be a short video talking about how to export the image uh, to an SVG file. You know, SVG is a vector-based file. It's vector, it's not pixel, so it's, it's more editable, it's more preferable and desirable to us designers, I think. So I think we can just get started working on this. And I will still use the, the, the wave pattern we just created in the last video because this is very representative. I will talk about um, how to convert this to SVG and how to do a post-production in the Adobe Illustrator, another uh, vector-based uh, software, I think. So in order to export the <coughs> sorry, in order to export an SVG files, we need first to use the begin record and end record function. So here I want to say um, begin record. And at the end, I will put an end record here. Please keep in mind, uh, if you, uh, sorry, let me organize my word a little bit. So please keep in mind, this true function will only record all the things inside the begin and the end functions. Everything outside these two, these two lines of code will not be recorded. So please be aware of their positions. And uh, inside the begin re record function, we need to first define the sorry, we need to first define the output file type. So here for sure we need an SVG and we still need to specify the output, uh, the file name, the output file name. Here I want to say it as SVG dash uh, four hashtags dot SVG. And these four hashtags will automat uh, automatically replaced with the frame number of, of the pattern when we export it. So here we have this, and here at the end, we have this end record. But be aware here, uh, if we just leave these two lines of code here, the sketch will, the sketch will record again and again and again, will we'll, we'll create a hundred, hundreds of files in just few seconds. So we want to have control over whether we want to save the file or not. Maybe we can say when we hit the S button, the S key on our keyboard, we save the file or we don't save the file at all. So to, to, to implement this control, I want to create another global variable, which is called Boolean. <clears throat> How to say Boolean save as VG equals to false. And here um, in the draw function, we can say if, <coughs> if save, sorry, if save as VG, we begin rec record, we begin this record, or we, we just skip this, this line of code. And we should do the same thing here. We should say if save, <coughs> SVG with N record. And there is still one thing we need to do is after each record, we need to set the SVG, the save SVG uh, value to false immediately, or the record will keep going again and again and again. So down here in this, uh, after this end, rec end record function, we should say save SVG equals to false. So every time we hit uh, hit save but, uh, save key, we will sorry. Every time we hit S key, we will save. Every time we hit S key, we will save the we will save the uh, save the pattern as SVG file or we don't save it at all. I'm sorry, I find there is some issue with my head here. That must be because my record software is blend mode. It's pretty weird. I'm becoming transparent. 
don't worry that. Don't worry about that. And now we have this function, and we will start to add control over over. Mm, we will start add control over over this save or not save mm, function. And we want we want to say when we hit the S key, this value becomes true. And uh, if we don't if we don't hit this S key, the value keeps false. So he, down here we will add another function called void <coughs> key pressed. <coughs> Sorry. And inside this function, and we can say if key value equals to as keep in mind this should be a single quotation mark if this is a double quotation mark it will cause some problems and we can say if key equals to um, lowercase s or the key equals to an uppercase s we turn the save svg value to true and we can save the code. Um, there's something wrong here. Character. Oh, sorry. It should be a boolean equation instead of an assigning equation. Then we can save the code. And in this condition, I want to open up this, 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 this folder. And you guys can, you guys will notice what's the different take place here. And here, now we have this sketch, we don't save it at all. When we hit the S key, oh, it doesn't work because I haven't import the, I haven't import the, the processing, uh, I haven't import the, this, this library yet. In order to export this SVG file, we need to import um, processing ssing dot svg dot this star sign save the code and I think we need to I think we need to force quit because it's now freezed right sorry guys you might need to wait a while okay we have this now we can run we can run the code and let's open up this folder and now you can see when I hit S. Okay, an SVG file pops up here, but you can see this result is completely completely different from the sketch here because we need to do some post processing here. So in this condition, we can close both windows and open up our Adobe Illustrator. Drag this file into our, our, our Illustrator and you can find, wow, all the shapes are here, even those, uh, even those hidden ones, even those invisible ones. The first thing we need to modify is we need to ungroup this 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 pattern because they are now in the same group. We need to ungroup them first, and we need to figure out this circle here. And uh, I think we need first to change the blend mode of this circle. We need uh, to click opacity here and change this normal, this blend mode, blend mode, sorry, change this blend mode from circle to screen, which is identical to our sketch. And we have circle here, right? It's blending into background. Now, Let's move this circle into another layer because we are going to do another processing over this pattern. We can say arrange, send to the current layer. Okay, lock it. And for now, we can just make it disappear. And the second step is now you can see it's not wave at all. There are, there are circles overlapping each other, but what we really need are just waves, are just this un sorry, unhidden parts or unblocked parts. Now, so to do this, we can select them all. On the property tab, we can uh, go to path Pathfinder, click these three dots and find a mode called Merge. Now, keep your eye on it when we click Merge. Okay, 
all the patterns merge together, and now they are waves. They are arches, and we still want we still want these pattern looks identical to our sketch, um, because the problem is these 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 circles or these curves doesn't have stroke. So this is very easy to address. We just need to click here. Where is my white? Uh, my white color. Oh, we can click here and choose a white color. Then adjust its stroke width to 5.5 inches, also identical to our sketch. Then we have this pattern. We can open our oh, we can open our circle here, and we can move the circle around, uh, move this circle around. So after these steps, we have an SVG file which is identical to our sketch, and it's a vector. It's a vector file, it's not a pixel file, it's really editable. So I think that's it for today's video. If you guys have any comments, thoughts, or critics, please um, tell me in the comment uh, under, this, under this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.